that better? A little bit better. So we toss off his retriever roll. He retrieves it. He brings it to my hand in order to be allowed to chew on it. How is your leash getting stuck in your mouth, dude? We never have issues with this. Thank you. Today we're having issues with our leash. Okay. Now we're working on a lot here. First off, we're teaching the dog to fetch. Go get it. Bring it to me. Not only that, this is something he wants. He doesn't want to give it to me. He doesn't want to bring me this. So, um... This is how we teach dogs to bring us stuff that they're not supposed to have and stuff that they want. And if I can bring a, have a dog bring me something he wants and it's a food item versus a toy and, or even a toy, it doesn't matter, then we're, we're preventing resource guarding and good job, bring it, Papa. Good job. No leash there. No use of the leash. He just brings it to me. His access to this is through me. So if he wants to chew on this, he has to bring it to me. I have to be able to hold on to it. Okay. Now I can sit on the floor. Throne likes to take his, his chew bones to his bed. So I can sit on the floor and I can use my lap as like his target space for him to come up. And you can't see him in my lap, but he's there. And he can come and he chew on this. Okay. And so what he's learning is to have access to certain things that he wants. Okay. I'm the gatekeeper. Not only am I the gatekeeper... But if he wants to continue playing with these things, okay, or chewing on these things, that was great. He brought it right into my lap. Look at this dude, laid down. Okay, can you see this? Look at this. Brought it right into my lap, laid down. Okay. Um, is this a proper fetch? To me, it is. Okay. My dog brought it to me, puts it in my hand. Okay, gotta cut that little piece off. It's also why I like using these because, you know, hey. It gets soft for this little guy's mouth. He is going through a little bit of teething. So getting him to pick up other stuff, he's not the most interested in all of it. But first plush toys. But plush toys, he goes, man, why am I going to bring that to you? I can just play with it, right? And we have a little bit of a disconnect there. And I'm not arguing with it. But this guy, look at him. Chewing on that nice little retriever roll. Okay, he's teething. It's hard to see because I don't have my tripod set up. But he's right there. He's teething. He's chilling. He's having a good time. All right. And I can have him chase it. Play a little spin and a sit. And maybe another spin in the other direction. Maybe have him lay down. Down. Good job. And he's still chewing on this. That's cool with me, man. All right. Again, he's getting access to this bone or this rawhide retriever roll by playing the game with me. And by bringing it back, putting it in my hand. Thank you. He's allowed to continue chewing on it. Okay. Um, I know a lot of people have trouble teaching a solid fetch game or whatever else, and I'm all for hallway fetching. I'm all for sterile fetching. I mean, look, my floor needs to be swept. Fine. Okay. It's first thing in the morning, I have a German Shepherd. Okay. Uh, there's hair everywhere. All day. Doesn't matter. All right. But look at this. Toss off his retrieval roll. Bring it here, Papa. Brings it right back into my hand. That's it, my hand. Okay, no trouble there. So my dog's learning how to do a really good solid fetch. Goes out, brings it in a straight line to me. And he's totally engaged with this, totally loves to do this. And so this is how I teach young puppies how to fetch, especially through the teething phase. This is how I teach young puppies to bring me things that um, they would ultimately in the end not want to bring me, right? So if this guy got hold of a plant or a stick that he shouldn't have or something dangerous, I say, hey man, let me see that. Bring it here. And he'll just go, oh, okay, cool, man. I, we're going to play a game. And if it's something he's allowed to have, I go, here, dude, take it back. And if it's something he's not allowed to have, I go, ah, you know what? Let me have that. Here, you can have something else, right? So this is where we would use like two retriever rolls or two tennis balls or or whatever else to practice some of that trading method. But with one retrieval roll and a leash, I can teach this guy, look, dude, go get that bone. The leash just fell off. Go get that bone. Bring it to me. I'll hold on to it. You can chew on it. Okay. No resource guarding here. Okay. Pet him. Getting in his fangs. Getting my finger in his mouth. He goes, man, man, give me back my bone. I don't want your fingers in my mouth. No resource guarding. So that's another reason why I like to do it this way. Again, I'm the gatekeeper. I'm making this fun for him. If he's chewing on this, I can get my face in his face. That's gross. I tasted that thing. I can bite on him. I can tease him. Right? And I can have some good time with my puppy here. 
And all we're doing is we're working on our fetch game. And he goes and gets it. Dang, brings it right to my hand. Oh, do you see that? It's gorgeous. I love it. All right? And this is all just with a rawhide retriever roll. I don't let them keep these things. This is only for playtime, only for fetching with me. So it's a really great toy. It's a really great uh, uh, teething option for him. And, and we're chewing and we're having a good time. I can go through my handling stuff and I can be a little rough with him. Oh, I'm sorry, too rough? Oh, too rough, oh, rough, rough. Right, I play with his paws while he's chewing on this. I play with his other paws. And so when he goes to the vet, my vet's just gonna be like, dang man, I can handle this dude. He's such a good dog. You can push him, you can pull him, you can flip him around and spin him and spin him. Have him sit and look at you. Fantastic focus, fetch. So on the fetch, toss it off. He brings it right back. Let's see that good boy. Oh, what a happy. And he brought it back so happy like, right? Because he wants access to this bone. If he doesn't bring it to me, right? So had he not brought it right to me, he loses access to it for a minute, right? And and so we take it away from him. We make him do something else. And, and we go from there. Look at this dude. He's such a happy puppy. He's doing some good fetching. Doing some good chewing, some teeth and stuff, right? Good bowl, good bowl, your goofball, your goofball. I can take it from him, and you know, not necessarily working on a, on a proper drop it at the moment because I don't do drop its with these, uh, because I want him to bring it to my hand, all right, and I want him to chew on it and loosely chew on it. And so when he, oh, there he goes, he's gonna bring it into my lap. Says, hey man, I just want to lay down here and chew on this thing for a second. I go, all right, that's cool with me, man. Again, I'm the gatekeeper, so I'm the one that has access, holds it, or maintains the access to it for him. You lose sight of the puppy. Come back over here, dude, so people can see you. People think you're a handsome ham cake. Uh, you're a slice of a ham cake. <laughs> you're not the whole cake, but you're a slice of a ham cake. Go fetch that up, dude. Bring it here, bring it here. Come on, come on, come on. Good job, good job, dude. There you go, Papa. Good boy. Look at that. Nice fetch, nice chewing. Okay, happy doggo. Happy doggo. All right. Now, had he not been bringing this to me a couple days ago or when we first kind of started this stuff, yeah, you know, I still start off with the leash even now. But, oh, I tossed it. Fetch. Hey, hey, fetch. It's over there. It was where to go. Oh, my goodness. That's that chihuahua brain of yours. It's over there. Go get it. Oh, no. Right there. Oh, there he goes. He goes. Oh, that's where it went, man. You toss it. I didn't see it. That little chihuahua brain of this guy's. Chihuahuas. Not the brightest bulb in the bunch. Fetch. <laughs> bring it here. Don't oh, bring it. Hey, hey. See, now we're having a little bit of trouble here. He's like, nah, dude. I don't, don't want to bring it to you. He's like, okay, fine. I want to keep my fetch game going, which is also why I like using retriever rolls. When I'm using toys, we get three to five really great fetches, and then we call it there. And with a, with a retriever roll, I can get endless fetching. He doesn't bring it to me, so I pull on this leash, a little pressure. I know it's a slip leash on a chihuahua's neck, so, you know, it's the smallest bit of pressure. Okay, bring it. This guy's also been pressure trained, or leash pressure trained, I should say, so... You know, he knows how to respond to that leash pressure. Fetch that. Bring it here. Good job. He's getting a little bored of the recording and stuff, so he wants to just play with his toy. And he wants to just chew on it, sit in my lap and chew on this thing. So we'll kind of cut this there. But I'm going to get one more good fetch out of him. One more good fetch out of him. And I know I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Go get it. Go get it. Fetch it up. Good job. Bring it here. Good boy, perfect, excellent. I count that as excellent. So we'll let him chew on this for a little bit now. 